My name is Thomas Rago, and I am co-owner of Rago Brothers Shoe and Leather Repair. Our team is now going to walk you through the restoration and repair of a Hermes Birkin bag that's valued in excess of $10,000. We received the bag and immediately we realized the bag needs new tubing in the handles. The corners are worn, it needs new feet, and it needs color restoration. First off, we are now going to give this bag to Luis. He is going to begin the process of deconstructing the bag. We do that by opening up the bag, pulling the binding out of the inside of the bag, pulling the stitches out one stitch at a time so that we don't damage the existing stitch holes. Using a very sharp razor knife, we need to take all four sides of the bag off to access the piping on the bottom of the bag. We've got the bag apart now, but we need to get the excess glue and all the stitching out. So we are going to take a piece of rubber and we are going to rub off that excess glue and pull out the old stitches so that when we re-glue this bag, it holds. Upon taking off the old feet, we see that we need to make the holes larger to fit the new feet. So what we're going to need to do is take a punch and punch that hole slightly bigger than it is now. The tubing inside of those handles are plastic the person may have weighted it. So over time, plastic breaks down, it broke. We need to replace that tubing on the inside of the handles. The only way that we're going to access that tubing is to take the handle apart. So very carefully, with a knife, we need to take out each stitch, one by one. So now, we have the tubing out, we cut and measure the new tubing, and we need to lay it on the existing handle, close it, and then we need to restitch that tubing back into the handle. And that's done one stitch at a time by hand. The piping leather is damaged. Okay it needs to be replaced. Fortunately, we have leather that is the same as the leather that came off of the bag, but it's too thick. We have a skiving machine, a machine that splits that leather, makes it thinner. But even so, after we thin it, we have to take a razor sharp knife and even make it thinner. After we take the now very thin leather and wrap it around the new plastic piping, we need to clamp the edges to close it. Hermes bags are made one at a time and by hand. So we are going to have to take a lot of time to bring this bag back to the condition it was in when it was first bought. The bag is inside out. We can see the same stitch holes. First thing we're going to do is we are going to stitch the two sides. After we do the two sides, we're going to sew the top. And then finally, we're going to sew around the bottom where we put the new piping in.
Now that we have the structure of the bag back to where it was, we have to think about cleaning and conditioning and recoloring this bag. It's faded. The color is just not there. Before we can re-dye this bag, we have to make sure that all the surface dirt is off. If there is any polish or conditioner on it, we need to take that off so that when we put the dye on this bag, it adheres. We are using a cleaning solution and we take a very soft finger brush and we scrub the bag to remove all the excess dirt and film and polish that we need to get off. After we clean it, we're going to take a clean cloth and wipe it off. What we need to do now is we need to match the color. We'll look on the bag and we'll look for a spot that really looks like the bag did look like 10 years ago. And then we will mix color, water-based paint, to match that part of the bag. The mixing of the dye is all done by eye under the correct lighting. Depending on the color, the guy may have to mix the dyes three or four times before he's satisfied that he got close to the original color. Depending on the texture of the bag, that will determine what applicator we will use to put the dye on the bag. Now that we have the dye on the bag, there are some finishing touches we need to do that really makes the job. We need to re-edge the handles and we need to re-edge the top of the bag. Now the edging on the handle and the top of the bag, not the same color as the bag. So we have to go back again to mix the color to match the original edging that was on the bag. The dye is dried, we need to condition the bag. And the reason why we're conditioning it is to hold that dye. That, along with resealing the bag, is gonna make certain that this bag stays looking good for years to come. Myself, my team, were really proud of the way this bag came out. And we only wish that we could see the expression on the client's face when she opens up the bag and looks at it. It really is a rewarding process.